Good morning, everyone. We are now here in Freeport, and we are going to take everybody on a tour of the Freeport uh, cruise port. I know a lot of people do um, wonder what there is to do if they are not booking an excursion in Freeport um, off of the Margaritaville. And I'm going to show you what there is in Freeport. There's really nothing to do around here, but um, there is a little market, which I will show you. All right, let's go. So it is a really short walk from the ship um, to the little marketplace. You can see right here. There is the ship. Oh, some Kenny Roger and Dolly Parton, right? <laughs> this morning. Oh. Yeah. Woo! We made it out of our cluster. We got yelled at because we had our um, camera out for a second. But we are now at the uh, food court area. This is where people get picked up if they are going on an excursion. It's they very do. busy right now. Everybody's yeah. ready for their excursions. Yeah. So they've got everybody being picked up in buses. Um, it looks like there's some jeep tours and everything like that, but... Right outside the ship, too. You can see the ship. It's right there. Yeah. So there is a little tiny market that we are walking over to. Um, you'll see that the market is actually right here. Um, we're here at the market now. Just here. There is, you know, the usual bohemian um, items little clothes and everything like that i absolutely love it everything here is so so colorful and if you guys wonder how close good morning if you guys are wondering how close we are to the margaritaville ship well the ship is right there the stores here are gorgeous. Everybody here is super friendly and nice. So, they've got a lot of little like souvenirs and trinkets. Yeah, I like these handmade goods. Yeah. So when you are here on your cruise or any time you come to the Bahamas or any island, always support uh, the locals. locals. Yeah, because they work really, really hard for to create all of these things for us as tourists to come. But yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. There's not too much stuff here. Um, obviously, we're already at the end of uh, shops. Yeah, it reminds me of a mini straw market in a way. If you've ever been to Nassau, Nassau, yeah, yeah, this is a tiny, tiny version of the Nassau straw market. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is about it. Yeah. Welcome to Freeport. Welcome to Freeport, guys. Let's head over this way. Got Hi. Uh, okay. <laughs> They're 15. Yeah. All right. Well, think about it. we have a lot at home too. Okay. Off show. Thank you. It's one fan. If you guys like hats, they got a whole bunch of hats. Like the crew shirts. And yeah. A little bedazzled. 
Oh, this is the open air tram right here. I heard it is, um, it's pretty big. They actually, yeah, it's I think big. it's like 45 or $50, don't quote me, to do that. But yeah, I've heard. So there is, um, so there is a donut shop right over here. It's not open right now. But everybody says that once we're here, we need to come try the donut. Big starfish. So yeah, there's this Pretty dresses. little donut shop. And I keep hearing that, you know, we've got to try it. But now that I see cars um, driving by, just a quick reminder, in the Bahamas. They do drive on the other side of the street. So uh, please keep that in mind when you're walking around. <laughs> they do drive on the other side. Um, we actually rented a Jeep here before. All right, so we're getting hollered at to go get a coconut. Well, the donut shop isn't open. No. Bahamas get your right get yourself a coconut from a from one of these little stands this is pure coconut there's um, nothing else in it there's no alcohol or anything in it it is so good yeah this one's called the gully wash I believe she said yeah that is super good look at it though it's so cute it's a bit heavy, you know, you're carrying around a coconut. Right. What but. is this, like a, a three pound drink? I'm just working on my, <laughs> my guns. That's right. Getting a workout. Right. Just doing the curls this morning. So if you guys don't know, we are signed up for the Spartan race coming up at the end of the year. So this is gonna be my, um, my Spartan race training. So prep for Bahama it. style. So, that's it. That's all of uh, Freeport's cruise port here uh, at for Margaritaville. The, for Margaritaville, yeah. They have another side for the other cruise terminals, mm -hmm. but that's a little journey for us to get there. We'd have to take probably a bus or maybe a, no, a it's ten just minute a walk. Yeah, it's about a ten minute walk. It's just on the other side. But I'm not walking over there. My point exactly. So there is supposedly a beach over here. Let's go try to check it out. Come on. So we are 
exiting the cruise port. Oh, look, there's a Margaritaville basketball hoop. Basketball hoop. <laughs> yeah. Where's the basketball? I'm sure, you can go ask somebody for one over there. So we're just walking. Might have to challenge you to a game, though. Right. We're just walking through the gates. Um, so there's this building here that feeds the sharks right here. Uh, it's a restaurant. I think it's a sushi restaurant. But apparently at night, right off of the dock, or right off of the balcony, I guess, they actually feed the sharks. And it actually comes in like, it's a frenzy of sharks that comes and um, eat. But there's supposed to be a tiny little beach right here that we're check gonna out the go first then we'll go check out the restaurant yeah check out um but there's a bunch of people here they are they're watching some tugboats tugging a cargo ship and there's a whole bunch of people here watching that which is right here So I'm not sure if what's going maybe. on. It's an expensive tow. Yeah, right. Is he stuck? Yeah, he's on the wrong side of the marker. Oh man. So apparently the MSC cargo ship is on the wrong side of the marker. Yeah, the green marker it should be over there. Oh. I thought so. From looking up there, you can so see the sand. It's like he's yeah, grounded. So there, they're trying to tow him. He's um, on the wrong side of the marker. Oh, man. Ooh. That's, that's a bad day. Yeah. That's not good. Okay. So we are here in Freeport. And we just kind of stumbled up upon a cargo ship that is on the wrong side of the buoys. I'm trying to... I believe come into port maybe. Uh, obviously, yeah, he's coming probably to bring a delivery in. Looks like he got uh, grounded on a no. sandbar. Is he? Did he get grounded, or he just was on the wrong side? So they well, have to like tug him back. Look, as we start getting closer, you can see the light color of like the sand almost on both sides of his. His uh, what? Do, what do you call that? The front of the ship. That's not the bow, the right? Is it the bow? Yeah. Okay, so right at the front of the bow, you can see the different color of the water indicating that he's stuck in the sand on both so sides. We're going to turn around so you're able to see it. There it is. So while we were on our ship, we noticed that um, there was a lot of activity happening on the, um, this cargo ship. But we just thought it was just normal stuff that they were doing. But yeah, they have to get repositioned now. So they're able to continue on with their day. There is three tugs out. I saw like five at one point. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably tugs on the other side of the ship. It looks like maybe some type of Coast Guard is out here too, monitoring them, their activity. Um, but yeah, it's pretty interesting to see how they're doing all of this. But yeah, there they are. That poor guy. That's a rough day. I know. Definitely a rough day. It happens. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. He'll get free. Yes. So good job to everybody out here that is helping them out. But in the meantime, check out where we are, though. Look yeah, at it. It's kind of pretty back there. How pretty it is. I saw some rocks over there that we should go. Oh, I know, right? We're going to try to make our way over there to the rocks. So you are going to come on a journey with us. We're going to head over there now. Right. So we are at the closest uh, beach to... Uh, whoops. Uh, we are at the closest beach closest to the Margaritaville right now. It is just a couple minute walk. It's actually not even a, a beach. I wouldn't like come hang out here all day or anything like that. Yeah, it's not swimmer friendly. It's no. very rocky. 
and just a tiny shred of sand. Yeah. So it's more of just kind of a, call it like a hiking moment, which we're about to take you on. Because to my right, we have some, uh, what do we'll call it, Bahama Cliffs in a way. Bahama Cliffs, yep. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Oh, man. Come on. Good thing you wore shoes, huh? I know. Not flip flops. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can, you definitely can wear flip flops. Some but advanced flip flop maneuvers out here. I wouldn't advise it. I'm wearing tennis shoes. Um, it is like limestone. So what you guys might not know about the Bahamas and why the the water is so clear out here. We were told by a tour guide when we were in Nassau just a few weeks ago that the water is so clear because of the limestone. The limestone acts like a filter. Um, so it acts like a filter. You can see the different And right yeah, now. the sand and the limestone helps with filtering out the water. And that's why the water is so clear. And if you can see, that's all like limestone right here. The light colored sand is actually limestone. And if you see kind of at the bottom of our videos, you see how the rocks are darker up top. And then at the bottom, as it gets filtered through the water, it becomes very light. And then if you look down in the water, you can see all of a sudden it becomes that very beautiful tropical color. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Uh, it is amazing out here. It's uh, probably why we keep, keep coming back. We we come back here often. Um, how many times have we been to the Bahamas This is our Bahamas fourth now? time in the Bahamas. And fifth. Fifth time in the Bahamas in the last... <laughs> fifth since mid-November. It's been seven months now. Yeah, so we've been out here... Quite often. Five times now. Uh, well, you might say this is in our backyard. And it's a perk of living in Florida. Yeah. This, this is literally in your backyard. It's mm -hmm. not far offshore and it's a beautiful getaway. And yeah, can't think of a better way to spend a weekend with the most loveliest woman I have known. Now, baby, I know you don't like getting close to the edge, but come with me. The waves are crashing. Just be careful. These are very sharp rocks. Just watch your yeah, step. Yeah, these rocks are so jagged. Hold on. I am going to show you guys. Almost looks like a landscape in the mountains and stuff. If you didn't know any better and just thought we were doing like drone footage. Right. It's like volcanic mountains or something. Be kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's another reason why we come out here is because we always find something new somewhere else to explore and honestly I think you and I are just in love with the ocean yes I definitely am. I don't know if people believe in astrological. Astro well, I can't even say it. Anyways, Astronomy. Thank you. But the astrological signs, I think it's called. Tongue tied there. Anyways, we're both Pisces. Maybe that explains something why we love the water so much. But I tell you, you definitely can't beat this color this water 
smell the sea air, light breeze in the air. Even how hot it is outside, just standing right here on the rocks, actually feels quite nice. Hey, uh, what's that in the water right there? Those are like little baby sharks. Directly in front of you. Are those, um, I don't think you guys can see it. But it does look like, what are those, like black tip sharks? Is that correct? You got me on that one. I should probably learn the different fish and everything in our surrounding waters, eh? It's probably good to know. What's that nibble? I think we just saw some, um, we're not shark experts, but like black tip sharks, something like that in the water. There were two of them, I think. Um, they seemed smaller. Well, they didn't seem small. They were smaller. They were just swimming here right by uh, the shore. But like we were saying earlier, I that building back there, at night, they do like to feed the sharks. Apparently, really massive sharks will come in circle and they just feed it right off the dock. I'm, Fortunately for us, we won't be here tonight to be able to witness this, but I've seen videos and they're like eight, nine feet um, sharks that swim and get fed. So, you know, speaking of which, I was just talking to one of the locals and they were telling me that there's still a few that linger over there. So we might get lucky and be able to see a few. I say we head oh, over really? there. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. We're here at the beach La, cafe. La Casa. La Casa. This is where the sharks allegedly are. Look, found a shark. <laughs> yes. Oh, There's a bunch of fish down there. He's feeding the fish. Oh, they're swarming. Oh, there's like a big fish down there, too. There's a shark. There he is. Wow. Holy crap. All that right. is a massive shark. All right, boys and girls. There are sharks out here and uh, reasonably sized ones. Oh, there he is again, right there, right in front of us. He is just patrolling. He or she is just patrolling. It's crazy. Barely see him. I'm just circling. Yeah, so you can barely see him. Are feeding right now, and I think it uh, understands that.
That is wild. He's right there. Huh? Do you see him? Just kind of a shadow on the water right now. And he's coming by the fish to see what they're doing. There he is. There he is. You see the shark? Gosh, what would you say? He's maybe about five feet long. Yeah. He could be bigger. I'm not sure. But he keeps swimming away and then coming back every time there's activity. So maybe it'll come back again. <laughs> well, it's crazy though. Now as I see these little shadows of these rocks just right here off the edge and I'm like, oh, is that him? Is that him? Is that him? No, nope, not him. And then all of a sudden he appears. Oh, let these birds get in on the action. Those are the... Oh, hey, here come the babies that we saw. Hey, guys. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger than I thought. I'd are say they? They're, they're Do you about think they're actually sharks? Three feet long. Yeah, I think they are... Uh, a form of shark. Yeah, they're little baby, baby sharks, maybe. Tell if you, you can see their fins pretty good, you should be able to determine. But I like how they're a pair, just kind of hanging out together. Let's see how they interact with the the big doe. I just want to see one with like the dorsal fin. Is it the dorsal fin that's up top? Like out of the water, you know, like Jaws movies. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da 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 I want to see one kind of jump out the water at one of these birds or something. That'd be cool. Well, they use decoy. Oh, Big. there he is. Yeah. See him just creeping? Oh, there's a big one. He's below the, the babies. And they're kind of swimming the other way like, nope, not today, Satan. Not today. Well, it's almost like he's like chasing them out. Right? It does look like he's chasing them. It's kind of like, this ain't your hood, sucker. It's my feeding ground. Now get that bird. There he goes, right by the water. Just nom nom. Oh, wow. There he is. So we just saw the shark that lives right here or swims around this area. Um, there were some people here that was feeding some of the little fish and a big old shark was swimming by. You'll see it in the video here, but it was actually pretty cool to see because obviously, you know, they do camouflage really well in the rocks and stuff, but once it was just a few feet away, we could not even see them anymore, which was really, really interesting. But yeah, this is a short walk from the Margaritaville cruise ship. And we're just here at this restaurant and they're not open yet. So we're just hanging out. We are heading back to the ship. We saw some sharks. That, that wasn't it. There was actually a real one in the water, yeah. <laughs> in the ocean. But it was really, really cool.
I didn't expect to actually even see one, did you? I thought we would, because talking to the locals, she was like, yeah, there's a few that just linger around, and she was right. There's a couple that just lingered around, a couple babies and one big one. I imagine there's more, but it's starting to get warm out, and the sun's about to hit peak sunlight, so. Yeah, it is getting really hot, really, really hot. And what do you think it is, like 80 or 90 probably? Yeah, I would say it's probably about 88 degrees. It's not bad. It's really not, especially at the sea breeze. But it is definitely warm, especially if you're not used to the tropical weather like we are. Yeah. Oh, and then I see the storm clouds over there. Oh, in yeah. Front of us. Look We're at supposed to be getting some rain. This afternoon. Those look like storm clouds for sure. Here it is. Well, hey, adventurers. Thanks for hanging with us again. This is a fun uh, adventure together. Yeah. Until next time. Bye. So we just got back to our stateroom and look who is moving. The MSC cargo ship. They finally got it unstuck and it is now on the correct side of the buoys. Yay! Congrats guys. You guys did a great job.